information that ultimately benefits turn the device on single beat means it's ready so each time you press the button you'll get three beeps one two ready turn the last beep is a higher tone so it's distinctive also I'll run through this quickly when you get to the pressed it ten times you will get a distinctive notification that you've actually completed 10 laps. One more. So every press after this will give you the same timing, however the, the final beat will be the warble <laughs> tone, if you will to let you know you you should have finished. Now the one hiccup here is uh, it assumes that you have pressed the first press when you launch the aircraft. Now I found that that works pretty well. If you uh, launch the airplane, give it a push, and as you're standing up, press the button, uh, you get your turn indication at just about the right time. Well, or however if you prefer you can completely ignore that just gets it in in sync let's say and uh, turn it off now if you want to reprogram the timing what you do is hold the trigger on the top on my box while you turn it on you'll notice there will be two beeps a, a low high and that indicates that it's in programming mode now to change the timing Let's say you were happy with where you were <laughs> and you want to go a little bit faster. You think you can go a little bit faster. All you do is, uh, in my case, I've set it so the, the switch that lowers the, the time is on the top. And they, these are the surface mount switches uh, behind these holes. So I'll press the upper one and you'll hear a high tone. Now each time I press that, I should change the timing uh, enough to where it would reduce the 10 lap time by one second for each press. Uh, of course we can't fly that good so it'll be somewhere in between. Now when you press the trigger while you're in the programming mode it actually stores the changes. So I'll press it. Probably can't tell the difference. That's only uh, two tenths of a second slower for the four counts. Um, now it, we are still in programming mode until I turn it off. So now I'll press down to go back where I was at. And you'll see that the, the bottom button has the lower tone. So the low tone means you're slowing the timing down. The high tone means you're making the timing faster. Now if I press the trigger again it will store that. Now if I decide I, I'm confused, I don't know how many times I pushed it, I'm not sure what's going on, as long as I don't press the trigger button it won't be stored. If I just turn it off at this point like that uh, whatever the last timing was will be s still there. So now yeah, I'm going to put it back in programming mode. Bleep, bleep. Now push one, two, three, four, and store it. Now I'm back to my original timing. And it's as simple as that. So I'll turn it off. Now normal racing just turn it on while you're preparing and uh, again I like to press it when I'm after I've launched the airplane I'll press it as I'm standing up and running back to the pilot and uh, we have for sure that's enough time to get the pile on one the pilot may not like that maybe a little faster depends so you can completely ignore that first one or not even do it 
and uh, in that case you would have finished uh, 11 laps let's say when you get the warble tune and uh, that's all there is to it thank you